If you've been watching Samurai Gaiden for a while, I'm sure you're rather familiar with the Battle of Okehazuma. In the year 1560, the relatively weak warlord, Oda Nobunaga, was invaded by the powerful warlord Imagawa Yoshimoto. However, in the plains of Okehazuma, Nobunaga brought about a resounding surprise victory over Yoshimoto, ending the political aspirations of the Imagawa and cementing Nobunaga's dominance over the area. 2,000 Oda soldiers versus 20,000 Imagawa soldiers. If you've played Onimusha, you've at least seen a representation of Okehazuma, as I mentioned in the Akechi Samonosuke video, which I'll link to in the description. But what about the Okehazuma of Kyushu, as one particular battle is sometimes called? Let's talk about that battle today. The Battle of Kizakihara, Kyushu's very own Okehazuma. So here's the setup. Ito Yoshisuke has secured himself the rulership of the Ito clan from his brother, Sukemitsu, in the year 1533. He then went about expanding the influence of the Ito clan, bringing it to new heights not seen since they were first founded by Fujiwara Kurikime in the Heian period. This, of course, brought him into conflict with the neighboring Shimazu clan, ruled by Shimazu Takahisa. Yoshisuke had also gone to the capital and presented a pretty good case for the Ito, winning himself the court rank of Jusani, junior third rank. Yoshisuke was certainly a good daimyo, qualified commander, and a good political backstabber. When the Kitahara and Hongo clans were at war, he sided with the Kitahara. However, when the Kitahara suffered a succession dispute, Yoshisuke was quick to swallow them up. Their master, Kitahara Kanetaka, fills up about half a sentence in history books, his most notable feat being murdered by an Ito retainer. So like I said before, Yosuke has made a case for the Ito in the imperial court and spent some time in Kyoto. After seeing the pomp and luxury of the capital, he decided to start styling himself like a courtier rather than a common samurai. He'd begun dressing like a courtier and was living a luxurious lifestyle, having placed his relative, Ito Sukayasu, in charge of his army. The Ito had allied with the Sagara, the Kimotsuki, and the Nejime, effectively surrounding the Shimizu on three sides. Yoshisuke began encroaching on Shimizu territory and made the war pretty official by invading and capturing Obi Castle in southern Yuga. With the Sagara taking territory from the Shimizu on the north, the Kimotsuki from the south, and the Ito from the east, Shimizu Takahisa had to do something. Especially since his uncle, Shimizu Tarachika, had died as a result of the Ito and Kimutsuki capturing Obi Castle. Shimizu Takahisa went about beating back the Kimutsuki in Nejime first, securing a strong base in Osumi province. With the Kimutsuki threat nullified for the moment, he made preparations for a battle against the Ito. His armies moved into position at the osumi Hyuga border. However, Takahisa died before the fighting could begin. Now I believe that Takahisa had already retired in favor of his eldest son years before his actual death but there is some reason to believe that his death could be a weak point for the Shimizu side. So there it was, Takahisa's second son, the indomitable Shimizu Yoshihiro, leading 300 Shimizu soldiers on the Osumi side of the Kizakihara, and Ito Sukayasu commanding 3,000 soldiers on the Hyuga side of the field. Now for your own reference, if you're planning on looking up more information on the battle, it is sometimes called Kizaki Baru. Same characters in Japanese, just different way to pronounce them. So on the fields of Kizakihara, we have the Shimizu outnumbered 10 to 1. Now Yoshihiro is somehow able to convince the Ito forces that they have a larger army than they really do. Tsukiyasu is too concerned to give straight out battle to them, so he withdraws from the field and wages a surprise night attack on Yoshihiro's nearby fort of Kakuto. Yoshihiro split his army into three parts. One unit assembled of about 60 men reinforced Kakuto fort. Another unit of 40 gunners took a position behind the Ito army some distance away from the fighting. They laid in wait. Yoshihiro then led the majority of his forces, around 130 men, around Tsukiyasu's formation and attacked him from behind. Yoshihiro proved himself a brave commander in the fighting, but when Tsukiyasu turned his army around and put the brunt of his significant numbers against the Shimizu, Yoshihiro called for a retreat. Tsukiyasu, seeing victory within his grasp, chased Yoshihiro's army. As Tsukayasu's army was just about to catch up to Yoshihiro's forces, the Arkabusiers opened fire into Tsukayasu's army, throwing them into disarray. 
The pursuit was finished, but Yoshihiro was quick to turn his main force around and charge into Sukeyasu's confused army. Before Sukeyasu could get his army coordinated enough to wage a proper counteroffensive to Yoshihiro's original counteroffensive, the forces sent to reinforce Kakudo Fort rushed out and attacked Sukeyasu from an unprotected flank. Sukeyasu, though outnumbering the Shimizu forces badly, were now engaged on three flanks. Yoshihiro is a pretty impressive commander, I must say, to have surrounded a force ten times his size. In the process, his army actually manages to overtake the Edo center, killing several prominent Edo generals, including Sukayasu himself. In the end, the Edo army was routed and fled back to Yoshisuke in utter defeat. The Edo clan would never again claim their lost prosperity. Within two years, the Shimizu would subjugate the Nejima, a branch of the Kimotsuki, and force the Sagara to remain on the defensive. Shimizu Yoshihiro would take the opportunity to actually recapture some of the Ito-held lands. Yoshisuke would be again defeated by the Shimizu at Takabaru in 1576, and then again at Tozaki Kamiya the year after that. In the end, the Shimizu would conquer the Ito, and Yoshisuke would while away the rest of his life in Kyoto, eventually dying in the city of Sakai in 1585. His younger son, Ito Suketaka, would join the Toyotomi and have a small amount of the Ito lands in Hyuga province restored after the Shimizu's defeat in the 1580s. But they would never again see the heights they achieved before their unexpected loss to the numerically inferior Shimizu forces at Kyushu's Okehazama, Kizaki Hara. We hope you enjoyed the story of the Battle of Kizaki Hara, Kyushu's own Okehazama. If you want more of these stories about people and places and battles and other uh, aspects of Japanese historical culture, be sure to check out the Samurai Gaiden playlist here. If you want to know more about, as I mentioned, Ito Yoshisuke was named Jusani, Junior Third Rank Court Title, check out last month's video on court ranks and titles, and be sure to subscribe to Samurai Gaiden.